Brewery. Well, Molly Davis is the communications director of the British Institute of Innkeeping. She says pubs, they're a vital part of the community, not just socially, but also financially. The average pub contributes £140,000 into the Treasury a year. So if those pubs are disappearing, you've got jobs disappearing, you've got tax revenue disappearing. So the loss, the loss of pubs is huge. But there are pubs that are surviving. How are the ones that are doing well managing to keep their head above water? One of the things that we've seen our members really doing to kind of survive, I guess, is, is to change the offering. So they've moved in, t- in lockdown and since to deliveries and takeaways. But it is tough for those that are just focused generally on drinking. A lot of them have had to, to change their models and, and add food into their offering and really have a think about how they could possibly remain safe but but make some money. You have 9,000 members. How many do you fear will go under? It's really difficult to say because our our membership is very broad. We have pubs who uh, cover all the spectrums from a a drinking pub right the way through to kind of gastro pubs and larger chains. And so different people have got different access to different help at, at different times. But across hospitality before the further help that the Chancellor announced last week the sector itself was looking at job losses of 750,000 that was what we were facing certainly the the fact that the additional help for for people in tier two has come down the line will will help people to keep the lights on I guess and, and help them to maybe hibernate their businesses over winter if they're in tier three they can close and and their staff can have you know 67 percent of their wages paid which keeps them body and soul together the real test will be for pubs that have seen a really reduced footfall through no fault of their own and haven't got that full access to support because they're not in a tier two or tier three area but are still subject to curfew so those last whole sittings of restaurants and sort of meals that they were serving and also just you know people not coming out because they are impacted financially because they can't afford to go out or because they're, you know, trying to keep safe and, and about, uh, abiding by the rules that government have put in place. Molly Davis there talking to me from the British Institute of Innkeeping.